Hey everyone! So now it's time to refactor our fetch, which we used in our page component, and actually use the fetch in a component. That means then we can reuse that component across multiple pages without having to reuse that fetch call on every page that we want to use it on. So basically what we were doing was we were using this example, using fetch state, pending fetch state error, and using a v4 of mountain of mountains with our mountains API call. And we basically had something that looked like this, which printed out all our mountains. So the code is literally our product card. And in here we were using product and then we were using props to pass down the product so that we could reuse it in the product page, uh, calling our product card with our product prop of a mountain and getting our data from here. So this works perfect, but fetch allows us to actually do that fetch call at component level, something that async data does not allow you to do. So let's refactor everything to show you how that would work. So first of all, we can start by, uh, let's start with the product card. So we have a product card and we want to basically say the V4, um, we want to take all of this, pretty much all of this out of here and we want to just be left with a simple product card. So we're basically taking that out and we're putting it at the root level because that's exactly where this was. And in here, um, we're gonna have duplicated classes. So I've got an MD flex. So let me just copy that and then we'll remove the class and then that saves the styles. I'm just gonna save this and it's gonna give me some errors, right? Because I've got a V else in here and I haven't got any V ins yet. So don't worry about that error, but what I wanna, you to see is this, right? This is the prop and we don't need the prop anymore. So I'm gonna remove that. So now I'm gonna go back and get my, my V even my V else, cause you know, it's screaming at me saying, ah, oh, you can't put a V else without a V even V else if. So let me cut that from here. And let me go back to my product card. Now, if I put it here, it's gonna give me another error and it's gonna say I need to add root level. So let me just, put a div at root level and down here. I'll just close that and there we go. Now I've got no more errors, okay? So this is working okay. I've got my first v if, then my v else if, and then my v else. So that's perfect. Um, I can also take my refresh button because that's calling the fetch. So that needs to also go in here and that can go just at the very, very top. Perfect. So I've got everything, uh, but I'm still using props. And I don't want to use props anymore. I want the actual call to be directly in the component. So I'm going to take everything here, just cut it, love cutting and pasting. And then I'm going to like uh, basically take the props, delete the props and paste this in here. So now I've got my fetch um, call inside my actual component. In case you can't see that, there we are, components folder, products card. Okay, so this is looking good and this is not going to work because I'm basically saying mountain and mountains and then I'm referring to product. So I need to basically uh, remove the product and call mountain instead. And I need this in all of these because the product referred to props and I'm using mountain and mountains. Now I could just use um, product in mountains, but it doesn't really make much sense. It makes more sense to say the mountain and mountains rather than changing here the product. So now all my mountains are gonna be coming from, from here. The fetch call is made inside the component. Um, this should work exactly as it is. I need to just save that to reformat. And I think the only thing that's missing is to take uh, the image. Uh, so we have the right size of the image and we put that in a, a component. And now, if it all has gone to plan, it should just work. Let's check it out. And there we go, you saw, it just worked. And just, you know, in case uh, you're not seeing that that's coming, we'll go from the start, we're refreshing, and we can refresh our data. So we have now added our fetch from our products, from our page. Our page now just has a product card component and we can then literally 
like copy this product card and we could put it in the about page as well. We've got other things going on in the about page. Don't worry about that. Let's just put it there. So we can actually just place that product card in any of our pages. And now we go to the home page and click on about. We now have mountains on that page. So that's a really, really useful way of reusing our fetch component on any page. And as you can see, we're literally using the product card because in the product card component, it has absolutely everything it needs to be able to just, you know, just do its job. So that's kind of like pretty cool and a really useful way of using fetch at your component level.